the half forwards, Daryl Baldock, Ted Witten, and Alex Jesselenko, and shortly we'll be naming the forwards. But first of all, we have two special awards to be made. And once again, I'd like to introduce Sevens General Manager Ron Casey, who will tell us all about them to two very special football personalities. Well, one, one of them, uh, Peter, is, is a very uh, obvious personality in that uh, uh, he is uh, much beloved by us all and he's, he's very visible, uh, particularly to Lou Richards. And 1981, while it signals the commencement of our 25th year of football, association with football, it is another very important milestone in this man's association with football. For 1981, we'll see the commencement, next Saturday, the commencement of his 50th year of active association with our great game. He first played with the Tigers in 1931, and we couldn't let a night like this go past without publicly recognising his great contribution to the Australian game as a player, as a captain, as a coach, as a personality on the ground. And since he's been with us in every single episode of World of Sport, the great contribution he has made to the game through television, with his humour, with his uh, quite succinct comments about various matters. We forgive him and admire him for his everlasting love for the Tigers, a club to which he's given so much, and we all think he's terrific. Jack Dyer, we couldn't let this night go past without recognising your 50th year of football. Come up here. Come on. Hey. Come on, Jack. Standing ovation and well deserved too for Jack Dyer. Jack, I'm afraid you go back a little further than I do. 50 years, it's a long time. Yes, 50 years is a long time in football, but it doesn't seem much when you see these young fellas grow up and uh, you see their football careers fade away as they get older too. And time seems to pass that quickly. It's too, too fast, as a matter of fact. And this is going around and I'm getting giddy. <laughs> just, <laughs> just before you go. <laughs> You'll be all right, we'll slow it down. Jack, we know how much you love the game. As far as you're concerned, what is football's greatest asset? The greatest asset? I, I, I'd like you to ask me what's my greatest thrill. Would you do that? Jack, Jack, in football, what's been your greatest thrill? Thank you very much. <laughs> well, let's relax for just a moment now for a couple of hours. <laughs> well, 50 years in football, I think that was my biggest thrill, being the 50 years in football. That's a big thing to look forward when you come from a little country town no one knows anything about. Yes, they brought it in the limelight, there's been a murder up there. Uh, Yarra Junction, and uh, you come up there as a young fellow with short trousers on and uh, loved football, just loved it, that's all you ever played. Then you get mixed up with a great side that uh, in fact, you have to be a blue blood to get into that time, send your presidential qualifications to get in the side because they had 25 players they played for 10 years without letting anyone else in, but I sneaked in. And uh, I played for Richmond. Then you come to meet the players that played the game. And uh, after you've finished, you're still meeting them. And I think those, those are the thrills of my life. And I've had one of the happiest, I think, associations with HSP7 that I've ever had in my life. Just to think of it, Louis never mentions this, we were offered a big sum to go to Channel 9 once and we knocked it back. How lucky can you be? Uh, <laughs> Jack. Jack Dyer. The other thing, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got to get out before midnight, Jack. Have you? I just going to say too that uh, I see there's not a Collingwood player being put up for one of these nominations. <laughs> That's astounding, that is. Well, we, haven't, we haven't finished the team yet. <laughs> Look, I'd like to tell you a story, could I? Oh, no. <laughs> right, well, as quick you could have, but no. Jack Dyer, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations and good luck in your 50th year. Jack. Jack Dyer, certainly deserving of that title, Mr Football.